everyone. It is Katie M. Reed from KatieMReed.com. Hey! Here's, you guys want to say hi? Say hi. 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 Um, we are on the road for a little belated... Okay, we can't do that. <laughs> My husband's watching this while I'm doing it and it's echoing. You gotta stop. Okay. Hey Kimberly, hey Tara, glad you guys are here. Um, we are on our way to my birthday present um, and maybe we will periscope from where we are going this evening. Any guesses? Hi Micah, how are you? Glad you guys are here. Well, welcome to a Friday edition of We Write, where we talk about simple writing tips to keep us motivated. Um, how many of you, show some hearts, are doing the Write 31 Days Challenge? If you go to write31days.com, you can um, join Crystal Stein, our lovely host, as she hosts a link up. Ooh, I see some hearts. Yay, glad you guys are doing it. Um, anyway, you write every day in October for 31 days and I will be revealing my series maybe in about a week or so maybe a little less we'll have to see anyways um, but yeah so what I want to talk about today is the beauty of writing friends I don't know about you guys but I don't have a lot of friends that live in my same town that are writers there are a few of them but um, it is great to have um, friends who are writers because they get you. It's just like when I was a teacher. Um, it's just like when I was a teacher, when I got together with other teachers, we could just talk about um, all things teaching. Oh, cool, Tara. Hers will be 31 day, or thirty-one stories of God's grace. Yeah, go ahead and share your title if you're revealing your title already. Um, but anyway, so, you know, when you get together with like-minded people, you just, you feel free. Oops, sorry. Bump. <laughs> you feel free because um, they get you and you don't feel like a weirdo. Anyone feel like a weirdo as a writer when you're like, talking to people? And I see my kids peeking on this periscope. They like periscope. Anyway, so um, anyway, so the beauty of writing friends. Um, I am involved with a couple groups of writing friends. One is, hey Jennifer, um, the gals from Purposeful Faith, Kelly Bellari, um, hosts it. And then there's some contribu contributors, regular contributors, Angela Parlin, Christy Mobley, Angela Nasworth, Abby McDonald. Oh my goodness, who am I forgetting? Did I get everybody? Kelly, Angela, Angela, Christy. Abby and myself. I think that's it. Anyway, but they are a group of friends where we can talk about life, we can talk about writing things, and um, sorry, are you guys getting sick from us bouncing up and down in our country road here? But anyways, um, they just encourage me. Um, we can ask writing questions. We can talk about uh, other questions. Yes, the Ra Ra Link Up. Hashtag Ra Ra Link Up. You can link up with that great group of ladies on Tuesdays over at PurposefulFaith.com. And um, the other thing is with this Write 31 Days series, I've done it a couple times before. In 2012, I did 31 Days with my brother. My brother has Down Syndrome. You can go to my blog, KDMReed.com and read about that. And then the next year, 2013, I did um, 31 Days of Isaiah 40. Luckily, Isaiah 40 had 31 chapters, so did that. And then this year, my topic is not going to tell you yet. <laughs> anyway, but what I found helps a lot with the Write 31 Days series is to enlist your writing friends to write some guest posts for you because writing for 31 days straight, especially if you don't have them ahead of time, can be really tough. And as I've probably told you before, I kind of turn into Blogzilla as my husband can attest. Let's see if he'll give you a, a thumbs up. Yep. Anyways, hey Becca. But um, so guest posting can help a lot because, you know, you can share your friend's words with others if they other people don't know them. It's a great way to introduce them. And they also, it's just a great support. And I know sometimes, you know, we all have our own writing styles, but when you put other guest posts on your um, 
blog of people that you trust, um, you know, it's being generous and it's sharing their words and they might have a spin on a topic that you never would have thought of. So be generous with your space. We talked about that before, but there's definitely beauty in finding some other writing friends who can encourage you on your journey. I hope that you have some. If you do, give a shout out to maybe one of your writing friends on here. Um, I'm just so thankful for those that spur me on. Hey, Susie because you know it's easy to get discouraged you know sometimes you're just pouring your heart out and you're like is anyone even reading this or sometimes you know we think we don't make you know maybe we're doing just fine but our friends can help us see some maybe areas we need to grow in and that can make our writing better so I hope that you have some writing friends that can help you sharpen your writing encourage you as you go okay Tara's hoping to have some guest posts this time around that's a good idea Tara because you know, it just, and it also um, brings awareness to your topic. You know, if you invite one friend and then that one friend shares with five of her friends about your series, that's, you know, five more, potentially more, even more than that, people that are learning about your series that you're doing. So I hope that you have some writing friends. I'm thankful for mine. I hope that, oh, thank you. Yes, I had a great birthday week. And be sure to come back. Um, Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I'll do the Monday message. And then Wednesday evening, probably about 7-ish or 7.30, um, my husband and I will be back for Stop Hammock Time, and we have a special edition. You don't want to miss it. Well, we will try to Periscope live from the event we are going to tonight, if it'll work. I'm not sure how the Wi-Fi will be or if I can bring my little jetpack in with us, but... Um, it should be fun. So thanks for joining the Friday edition of We Write. And let's give shout, shout outs to our writing friends and let them know we're thankful for them today. All right. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you tonight. If it doesn't work, I will see you Monday. Thanks. We will have fun tonight.